Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of FTL, this time on board the VSS Artistry with Dally, Picasso, and Monet, who are joined today by non-artists Charlie, Johnson, and Cubbin. We're going for an all-lasers-all-the-time strategy with a pike beam and halberd beam combo supported by ion blasts to knock those shields out of the park. We've also got our stealth system at level 3, shields up to level 3, and some nice engines. We've got a selection of 4 Zoltan, which gives us a lot of free power. And apart from that, our biggest problem is going to be borders. Let's see how we can handle the jumps up ahead. We've made it to the NG homeworlds, and let's see what they have to offer. What's down in this bottom corner? We have, ooh, we arrived near a small fleet of civilian NG ships. A simple decryption and translation tells us that we're having some kind of discussion about something that's obviously giving them trouble. Thankfully enough, we came here because we have NG, and we have an NG option at our first location. What do you know? Let's have our NG crew contact them. Boop. Our crew member syncs with the commune to communicate with them directly. We offer help, and they respond, saying that our goals have some analogous elements, but not everything is free to be disclosed. We offer to help anyway. They tell us that secret technologies have been stolen by the Mantis and brought to the Rebels. They give us the location of one of the coordinates, but tell us there's also a second possible coordinate. They say that they need help gathering more ships to help defend, so they ask us to help them find what they've been looking for. That gives us two places to go, way over there. I guess we better get moving. Let's jump over to this beacon and see if we can't find our way to those ships. What do we have here? We arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting our request for a mercenary ship to aid him, and we agree to respond. Great, he says. I was worried no one would respond. My usual carrier is days late. I need you to deliver this cargo of drone parts to a small station a few jumps from here. I'll pay you a bit of scrap now, but they will surely tip you generously. I'm sure they won't, but we'll accept your offer anyway. Great! I've uploaded their location to your star map. I'm running out of options, so I have no choice but to trust you'll do what you have agreed to do. Gives us five drone parts and gives us another quest beacon. Way over there, really? And a store in the way here? Well, I gotta get to that quest beacon, so we're gonna jump to the store, even though there's literally no reason for us to be here. herp a derp An engine ship hails, saying engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. They sell nothing I can buy and nothing I want to buy anyway. I'll buy one, fu one, one fuel. Good. Okay, jump to the quest beacon and hopefully we'll find something good here. At the quest beacon we discover... Da -da -da -da, one of the rebel bases that the NG told us about. It appears abandoned except for one scout ship. Perhaps we can get information from them. Boop. As soon as they see us, they power up their engines in order to jump away, so we'll have to stop them. They've got breach missiles and a basic laser from the looks of things. If we can blast down their shields, we should be able to beam them to death. But that is, of course, running the risk of getting hit with breach missiles, which is never fun. Hopefully that doesn't happen. We hit them, hit them, hit them with the, hit them with the, uh, the ion weapons. <laughs> we can tank out the first missile, no problem. Although we can't be missing like that, guys. We can tank out the first missile, no problem against our shields. If it misses, it's even better. It missed, even better. You guys have to hit them! You hit them with the ion weapons! I know that you... Okay, we're gonna lose this fight. We're gonna lose this fight. We can't hit them, we can't do any damage, we can't knock out their helm, they're gonna get away. They're gonna get away before we fire a single shot that hurts them. Okay, now we have to hit them, because we have no, no leeway here. Hit them right across the helm and the engines if we can. We'll hit them with the halberd beam like that. There we go. Broke the helm. That'll give us a little bit of leeway time. Keep hitting them. Okay, now it's time to daw. No, we can we can tank this still against our Zoltan shield. We're okay. It missed us again. Fantastic. Pike beam them across there. Okay. Stop, they say. This isn't worth dying for. We demand information on the stolen technology. Of course, that's why you're here. Yes, they passed by here, but I had nothing to do with it. I don't know what they were carrying. I'll transmit coordinates. Now just let us go. They give us a quest marker. Alright, we prepare an FTL message containing the coordinates to send to the NG and get ready to jump onwards. That was really close. They were just about to jump away there when I halberd beamed their, uh, their helm. I can't tell for sure, but I'm pretty darn sure they were about to leave. Why do we have all of these quest beacons? Holy cow. Okay. Let's jump over here, and I don't think I can make that jump. Let's jump over here and see what's at these quest beacons, because that's a lot of quest beacons. Zoop. Local sensors pick up two ships engaged in heated battle. It seems the Mantis military will surely defeat their prey. They have a teleporter, they got big missiles, they got lots of lasers and a halberd beam. Doesn't look good, but we're going to fight them anyway. Let's aid those civilians. Boop. We frown, power up weapons, and prepare to engage the Mantis. Not today. 
Alright, well hopefully uh, hopefully today is, is better than other options. Ion blast him. We're gonna have two mantis boarding us in a second, I'm pretty sure. And we missed. Another great start to another battle. We're a part of the team that can't aim to save their lives here. When the halberd beam goes off, we will get hit. That's okay though. We knock that out of the park, and we missed a whole bunch more times. Magnificent. They're boarding us. Where do they board? They board us there, which means we can suction out the air. They will get through that door before they die, but that means Monet is just going to have to run away, which shouldn't be too hard for him to do. Please hit them, guys. Seriously, just just hit them with the ion blast so I can do damage. Once I can hit them back, it's not half as scary, but as it stands, now I have to cloak to dodge that missile. Yuck. Alright, these guys are slowly suffocating to death. My team is slowly missing every possible shot they can take. We're going to jump out of the engine room so we can suffocate them in there. We've knocked out their shields completely, though, so now it's my chance to return fire. How many hang things can I hit with this? I hit six rooms? One, two, three, four, five, six rooms. Wow. Let's hit the other side so we actually hit the weapons room, which is the most valuable target at this point. Let's make sure we actually aim this properly, please. Right through there. Not quite still. Right through there. That'll do. And we'll hit the halberd beam through the... Engines, weapons, and ox. Okay, just hit. Ah, choices, choices, choices. We can do more damage to the weapons, which is definitely important. Or we could hit them across. We could fire that across here and do more damage. So that'll do eight damage each. Yeah. Or we hit the weapons. We maybe knock this thing offline. Mm, weapons, I think. Weapons is definitely more important at the current time. So fry them with lasers. There we go. There we go. It wouldn't have killed them anyway. They still have had three health left. Oh, the door closed behind them. Keep suffocating those guys, please. And now they're worried. Now they're trying to get in the oxygen room. Not the smartest kids on the block, are you? Close that. Alright. We did take off the missiles. That's good. The most dangerous thing they have is now offline. Their helm is damaged. So we won't be missing anymore. And down they go. And the massive ship breaks apart. Two fuel, a missile, and 44 scrap. We contact the civilian ship and discovered that the sector has become increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation, they say. They'd pair up, repair up some of our hull damages, thanks. Well, I'll accept that, thanks. No questions asked. Open up those doors, close those doors, send these guys in to fix the damage. Actually, I'm going to send Monet in to go get healed first. That sounds a little bit more immediately useful, because the NG can fix those repairs in no time. Well done, Cubbin. Back into the stealth room. Lovely. Now we have two quest beacons over here, which we're going to go to just for fun. Let's see what's at these. One of them should be the stealth cruiser, and the other one probably just an enemy to fight. We finally caught up with the ships we've been hunting. A hangar-sized cargo ship is being escorted by a number of mantis. As we consider reconsider the assault, a squadron of enemy ships with pirate emblems jump in and assist us. We prepare to fight the mantis, but scans indicate they're manned by the rebels. I like how the NG ships have been given pirate emblems to make them not think they're actually the NG. Clever. Although, you know, maybe having an entire squadron of NG ships might make them question the fact that they're really pirates. But whatever. Let's fight these guys. They're only humans, too, so their boarding party is not going to be quite as dangerous as it could be. I don't blast them in the shields. They have hefty, hefty shields. I don't think they're trying to run. If they did say that, I didn't see it. I think we're actually just fighting these guys. They're trying to, we're, we're assaulting them. They can't run away. They have an ion... Ooh. First laser mark three. And a halberd beam. This could be bad. There goes most of our Zoltan shield. And there goes the rest of it. Okay. We can hold on to the cloak now until the next time they try and fire. They've jumped into an empty room, so we can suffocate them out. Or at least start. They're going to jump into the weapons soon, though. That's not so good. We'll empty out more oxygen from nearby rooms. Hit them with more ion weapons, please. Knock those shields offline. One more shot will do it. Then we can start having fun here. They've teleported more people onto our ship because they're really crazy. They teleported them into a room with no oxygen in, in it already, so I can't really complain about that. We're going to fire our pike beam just like we did last time through this six damage selection. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very nice. And we're going to halberd beam them across the weapons as well. We put that offline. We're not in quite so much trouble. There you go, suckers. Good luck fighting back now. All right, leave that on auto fire. And Picasso, you're going to run for cover while I open these doors to suffocate these suckers out. 
They should suffocate really fast. We lost one of our Ion Blasts, which is a little bit unfortunate. We should be okay. Should be okay. We'll actually power that Ion Blast up now with the spare energy we just recovered and hit the Ion Blast against the shields. Those guys should suffocate before they get in the room, I believe. Because if they get in the shield room, then we're going to be in trouble. But they sh these guys should die as well. Quickly, 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 and down they go. As well as all the borders. Perfect. The NG emerge victorious from their battles with only minor losses. They message us, saying, Project XME-56, commissioned by Federation Military Research Division, Advanced Stealth Cruiser, project finished during rebellion, unable to reconnect with Federation Military Command. We ask about the Mantis ships. Likely ploy by rebels to avoid breaking non-aggression pact with NG. 97.56% likely. Your mission to assist last Federation fleet, correct? Coordinates. We tell them where Federation Command is. Satisfactory. Delivery of tech will assist in Federation cause. Gratitude alone insufficient. Commencing ship repair and compensation. Their crews deliver a weapon for installation, but we're more pleased to hear that the Federation will have an improved arsenal. So we just unlocked the stealth ship again. We got 71 scrap, which is a magnificent reward. A free heavy ion and fully repaired our ship. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you kindly. Close them doors. We're actually going to power up our oxygen production to one, or is that three times? I think it's three times. Three times. So that'll help fill those rooms back up in no time. There we go. And you can get back in your weapon room there, Picasso. No questions asked. Actually, I'm going to go heal you up because you did run through vacuum there for a little bit. And that's that. Send you back to your spot. And oxygen production back to normal. Power back in the shields. Power back into the cloak. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Distress beacon over there. Quest beacon over here. Let's go to this quest beacon. It's probably just going to be another fight against the rebels, but why not go fight them anyway? Here we are. We arrive at one of the rebel bases that the NGs told us about. It appears abandoned except for one scout ship, and perhaps we could extract information from them. Unfortunately, we already have the ships. We know this is not the people we're looking for, but they're also trying to power up their engines to jump away. We'll see if we can stop these guys. I will blast them in the shields. They have hefty weaponry, too. They got breach missiles, and a burst laser mark 3, and a mini beam. Mini beam's not that scary, but the other weapons definitely are. So let's see if we can uh, dodge these missiles and these lasers before they kill us dead. Are they going to fire these simultaneously? I'm pretty sure they're close to about the same length of charge. No, they're not. Although they did miss enough shots that we can actually just tank out this first missile. Nope, we can't. Dodge. Good. That was really close to being bad. That missile. <laughs> that laser almost made me tank the missile in the face. Okay, Halberd Beam, we're going to go through the Oxygen, Shields, Engines, and Doors. Pike Beam, you're going to come down this way. Nope, no, nope, Ion Blast, you're still hidden there. Pike Beam, you're coming down this way, hitting them in the Helm, Med Bay, and Weapons. That should do some good damage. Hits every room nicely, like so. They say they don't want to die here, so we demand information on the stolen technology. I just want to kill them, though. I don't want this information. Ah, so that's what you're after. Too bad, you followed the wrong ship. The envoy that passed through here was a fake to trick fools like you. Now let us go. Uh, no. Uh, I don't think I'm letting you go. I've already found the ship. We're killing you. Ignore him and attack. No, wait! We cut the transmission and continue the assault. You stinkers, you got us into a whole mess here, so you're dying for your troubles. I hope you like doing repairs while floating in a broken ship in open space. Because that's what's coming up now. Final shot from the pike beam kills you dead. Down you go, halber beam just for good measure. We take three fuel, a drone part, and 54 scrap from the debris. Take that, sucker. Now, we how many have to do with a lot of jumps? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, probably no problem. If not, we can go one, two, three, four, maybe? One, two, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, we got plenty of space. Jump to the distress beacon and see what they want, and then we'll head over to that quest beacon and sell them some drone parts. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off the distress call. However, we decide not to investigate because we don't want to lose any of our crew now, so we avoid the area. Discretion is certainly the better part of valor, so we decide to not risk it. It's too bad that was what was hiding there, because it would have been nice to get something for our troubles, but that's okay. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Once again, short-range scanners may discover useful materials, but our scrap recovery arm will discover large amounts of scrap. So let's mine the asteroids. Boop. We carefully extract as much usable material as possible from the nearest asteroids, getting 72 scrap in the process while waiting for our FTL to charge. Magnificent. There's a store right there, a quest beacon right there, and an exit right there. Do we have enough jumps to go to all three of those spots? I think we should. Let's take a quick visual guesstimation. We should have maybe not quite enough space. 
maybe not quite enough space. That would be pretty darn close, though. I think we have enough room. Because if we got one here, we'll have another one about there, and another one's going to be like right here. We should have enough room to go to all three of these spots. Let's jump to the store, see if we can't buy ourselves a drone control bay. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG Hive of this beacon are selling things for just that. Pegasus missiles, heavy lasers, they're nice, but we got enough arsenal here. Let's buy drone control. Boop. And it came with a defense drone! Magnificent. That's all I wanted. We'll sell them as heavy ion because our ion blasts do the job just fine. Although, having a heavy ion with an ion blast might be a good combo, but I think it's better to just go for the ion blasts. Sell them the heavy ion. Come back here. If you had a... If they had a... Uh, what you call them? What you be? Who's it be? Whaty? What am I trying to say? <laughs> I don't even know. If they had a stealth weapons augment, that's the word I'm looking for, then I would happily buy that too, but I don't think they do. What are we going to buy here? We could buy their power bars to power our defense drone. That'd probably be wise. We're going to need these for fighting the final boss, so that'll do that. We could buy their uh, cloaking system as well, just for fun. Not like we need any power anywhere else, really. But I think I think we'll hold on to it, because if we can get that power rerouted into higher level shields, into higher level of all this stuff, that would probably be a good idea, too. So we'll jump to the quest beacon, and then we'll jump to the exit. Hopefully my measurements were correct. My guesstimations. We arrive at a location given to us by the merchant. We're supposed to deliver drone parts to a station here. Alright. We find the station, and they respond to our hails immediately, saying, It took you long enough! We have practically no use for these now! I refuse to pay full price! Take this, and leave the cargo in our holds! They are for us a pitiful 21 scrap for 5 drone parts. We can accept the pulpy payment, refuse and keep the drone parts, or remain silent, but power up our weapons! I haven't actually seen this option before, but I like it. Let's do it. Boop! You make a good point. You traveled all the way out here to fulfill a request, despite what must have been a, a difficult scenario to cause such a delay. Here, we'll even tip you for the inconvenience you must have gone through. <laughs> they offer us four fuel, take away five drone parts, because we bought, sold them to, and got 63 scrap in the process. That's a nice reward. A very nice reward. I might even consider forgiving them for trying to swindle us. Let's jump to this exit and see if we can't make any more funds. What do we get here? Da -da -da. We wrap a long-range beacon where we find... a weapon. <laughs> Holy crap! A weapon just floating in space! 33 scrap and a hull missile. Well, that'd be great if we could sell it. But my... Power up our shields to... There we go! An even higher level than ever seen before. Level 4. Lovely stuff. Let's jump ourselves to the last stand. And here is where it all comes together. Zoop. We arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet. Our access codes get us past initial security and a direct feed to the capital ship's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? We explain our mission, and our explanation is met with nothing but cynicism. General Terzel the Engine Brigade speaks up, saying that our intel suggests a counter to the Rebels. If we risk everything, we might have a chance of saving everything. Otherwise, nothing will come of it. We explain how the Rebel flagship is in fact the weakness, and Tully responds, saying that it is settled. The Rebels will be here in a matter of moments. Well, they will do it with what they can to hold off their warships, but we have to succeed in destroying the flagship. They offer to refuel our ship now, and their stations will offer us help when possible. They give us ten fuel and repair us, although we're already at full health, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. Well, well, well. We have no money left. How many, how many, how many, how many? We need three more power bars. If we can get three more power bars into systems, we will actually have accomplished the, the, the get as many power bars as you can into systems simultaneously achievement. That would be kind of cool. There's repair beacon over there. I have to jump here, don't I? That's stupid. Um, because if I jump here, I have to go all the way around. Yeah, whatever. Let's jump over here and hope for the best. Actually, um... Okay, hang on. Before I can do this, I'm going to have to be right back. So, one second. So, yes, like I was saying, we are going to try and jump around this way because I don't want to have to jump to that beacon. It's no fun. So let's see if we can actually make this jump and then that jump. That'd be pretty cool if we could jump that far. We wouldn't have to go to the repair station and waste it for no reason. Can we go here? What is there here? 
We detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. The weapons are charged, but they're not yet firing, so we intervene to defend them. Boop. The rebels respond to our threat, saying they don't know who we are, but no one defies them. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? They have a beam drone, a... Mm, ooh, they got a basic laser, heavy laser mark 1, burst laser mark 3. They do have some fairly hefty firepower, but... Luckily for us, it doesn't look like it's actually going to be that dangerous. As long as they don't have any boarding drones, which doesn't look like they do, we should be fine. They don't have any missiles, though, so I can't put my good defense drones to use. Oh, auto fires off again. Whoops. I'm turning that off by mistake somehow. Alright, we'll fry them shields with our lovely ions. Hope they miss a whole bunch. Yes, they do. Why is this not auto firing? Get in there. Okay, that's better. Now I think they're auto firing properly. I don't know what that was all about, but I don't like it. Keep hitting them with ions. I don't want them simultaneous, though. I want them to have a delay on them. Okay, now we'll fire the other one. One more shot, and we can wreak havoc on these poor souls. One more shot. Okay, now one more shot now. There we go, that's the one more shot I wanted. Halberd beam them up through here for the magnificent 10 damage halberd. If it hits all the rooms, it might not. And we'll pike them across here for 5 damage pike. And go. Oh, lovely. I love looking at that. Although it doesn't seem like it actually hit the oxygen base somehow. That's okay. We wreaked havoc on these poor guys. They have nothing left, and our pike beam will kill them long before they get a chance to do anything else. Bzzzt. Down you go. Lovely. The ship breaks apart, and we gather a fuel, two missiles, and another 70 scrap. The outpost also hails us, thanking us for the help, and offering us three fuel and another 51 scrap. Well, that's a pile of money right there, that is. Let us... Um... Hmm, what am I going to do? Hold on to the money for now. Can we jump? Can we jump? Ah, oh, we have to jump to the repair station first. Alright, give us some free stuff, thanks. A trade station was abandoned nearby. Some Federation engineers have repurposed their shipyard to perform military repairs. They offer to repair our ship, which isn't needed, but they do give us five fuel, four missiles, and five drone parts as well. We jump on... There's a store over here. I don't want to go this way. I want to go that way. Whatever. We'll jump over there. We'll get there eventually. I might be cutting the wire a little bit thin, but we should be able to get there nonetheless. Transmission from the nearby planet indicates an outpost below, which offers supplies to travelers. We send down an away party to check it out. They offer us a teleporter, some more drones, and uh, a chance to sell our hull missile. That's the important thing. We probably could sell our hull scrap recovery arm here, too, as well. We don't need any of this stuff. We could buy an anti-ship drone, though, and if I could get the power to use it, that could be pretty helpful. Um, Is it worth getting, though? That's the question. We have three power still to spare. We have lots of spare energy. Oh, we need it. Um, if we buy all the power here, that would give us 68 scrap left. I probably can't afford the drone now, can I? Oh, I just I still can't. Good. Because I could put two of that in here, and one of them over here somewhere. Yeah, okay. I can handle that. Let's buy the drone. Although, now I need to upgrade this. Whoops. Oh well. I'm sure we'll find something else that we can fight for money on the way over there. It doesn't take too much to upgrade this to level 4 anyway. As soon as we arrive at the beacon, Rebel Scout turns to engage. We power up weapons. They've got a beam drone, a defense drone, that's okay. We'll activate our defense drone for the first time. we will give them something to think about. Their missiles will have a hard time hitting us now. It is a breach missile though, and a heavy laser mark 2, so we'll have to be wary of that. We'll start ioning them, and ioning them. And we missed a whole bunch. Lovely. Now, hopefully that breach missile misses me. I'm going to count on my defense drone to do his job here. Hit, 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 hit. Good. That way I don't have to use my cloak. And one more shot should knock out their cloaking device. Or their shields, what am I talking about cloaking device? Oh, you missed. One more shot then. One more. Hit him. Hit him. There we go. Now we can make them regret the day that they decided to fight me. We'll blast them right through all these rooms. Doing heaps of damage. There we go. And fire. <laughs> Lovely. One shield point remaining. You lucky, lucky guys. One more shot from the pipe beam should kill them off, and there's nothing they can do about it. And zoop! It's game over for them. We killed the ship and got 69 scrap, 2 fuel, and 2 missiles out of it. Lovely, that'll give us the points to upgrade that. Now we can power both of our drones if we want to. Let's also upgrade... None of those things are worth upgrading. 
We can jump over here, but then we'll have to wait for the ship to get to us. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to jump here and then jump over there. That way we get another jump out of it. We've got a battle going on here from the looks of things. We don't have any time to worry about the battle in the distance. The fight is coming to us really quickly. Alright then, they have an attack drone mark 2. They've got burst laser mark 2. They've got a basic laser and a mm, Pegasus missile. Power up the defense drone. And... Okay, that's cool, I'm done. <laughs> now I just sit here and eventually kill them. I got an anti-personnel drone of some kind. Uh, that's okay, not worried. We'll start ion blasting these suckers. And go. Our drone takes out the missile, no problem. Lovely. Knock out their shields with another pair of ions. We missed with one of them, that's not quite so good. We take out their missile again, no problem, though. So these guys aren't that threatening. One more ion, please. There we go. And now it's time to make them die. Pike beam them. Same as last time. These ships are all the same layout, so there's no real better way to do it than this. We could hit the helm if we wanted to, make it impossible to dodge, but I'm not that concerned. This does a heck of a lot of damage. And we have a lot of leeway now with all those hits. Pike beam up those rooms! Lovely. A single health point remaining. Shoot down the missile once again. And next pike beam will leave them horribly, horribly dead. Bye bye, gentlemen. Zzzt. And a missile shot down again. Very nicely done there, defense drone. We salvaged 33 scrap, but there's apparently no time to salvage all of the wreck, because the fleet is still nearby. That's lame. We get ready to jump anyway. Alright, whatever. What are we going to upgrade now? Let's upgrade... All of these things would be good to upgrade, honestly. Putting some more points into these things would give us the ability to actually, uh... What am I trying to say? To actually take a hit in those rooms. The engines are probably the best bet, though. So we'll upgrade them. And we'll put a point of power into them as well. Best place to have that additional power, I think. Let's jump over here and fight the flagship. Because that's what it's time for, I think. We could even jump over here and then jump back and fight the flagship. That could be kind of funny. Um, There's no real point, but honestly, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. What do we have here? We arrived to see a number of Federation forward carriers and dreadnoughts. This must be a system of high importance to warrant such a fleet. Well, that's okay. Let's jump back over here and fight the flagship. It's got two jumps till it's in range, but we will extend that time by fighting it. This is it. The Rebel flagship. If we can destroy them, the Federation will have a chance of winning. There's no turning back now. So here we go. Let's fight them. Power up our drones. Defense drone, anti-ship drone, online. That gives us an achievement as well for giving her all she's got, Captain. Lovely. Let's fight these suckers. Alright. Here goes nothing. They're gonna be hitting us in a second, though. Ion Blast, go! And second Ion Blast, systems are go. Okay, Ion Blast hit. We are going to get hit pretty hard here in a second. Oh, they hit our, they hit our overshield, we're still okay. Now this is gonna suck, so we may actually dodge this. No, we're okay with that, I'm cool with that. We do need to keep hitting their shields down, though. Keep hitting them, please. Keep, keep, keep hitting them. That's good. Keep. Oh, they dodged. I forgot about that. We might not be able to do anything to these guys. That cloak is gonna let them keep resetting their their overshield. We might not be able to hurt them. Oh man, let's cloak. Dodge that one. Yeah, we we might be in a really bad way here. We might not be able to do any damage to this stage until we can really hurt them. Ooh. Okay. Hopefully we hit every shot. Every no, you can't miss, guys. We have to hit every single shot, otherwise we're gonna get murdered here. Comes some lasers. You gotta hit them, guys. You gotta hit them faster. Cause they're cloaked again. You gotta hit every single shot, I think. And they hit us in the weapons and the helm. Magnificent. Worst battle ever. Cause now we have to wait for this to whole reset again before we can actually try again, even. At least he only hit us with one of those ions this time. Our ion blast is now back online, but we're not going to be able to do any damage this time. Marvelous. Do I dodged that! There's no way that hit. No way that hit. We had 98% evade. I don't buy it. Okay, this is going to suck, though. This is really going to suck. Get back in here. That is a problem to our ion-based strategy. I didn't even think about this at the beginning. 
We need to hit them really fast. No, not the halberd beam. Ion blast. Hit them with the ions. You have to hit every single ion shot, then maybe I can halberd beam them in the cloak so they can't dodge immediately. That's our only option here. Hit every ion beam right now. One more. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Okay, we can halberd beam them in the cloak. Now that, that, that'll mean they can't cloak for as long. We might be able to halberd... We might be able to blah, 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 ion them again before they get completely hidden. So we'll hit them right across here. Good. They're going to be cloaked in a second. That's okay. They can't cloak for as long. We might be able to ion them again before they get hit. completely worn back to full shields. Hit. This has to hit, otherwise we're in trouble. We missed. No, we did hit. Okay, that's cool. We just hit through the shield. Okay, now we're good. Now it's our turn to do damage, you stinking sons of... Blah. Grumpy. I want to say nasty things to them. I don't want to say nasty things. So... What are we going to hit here for maximum damage? I never actually used pike beams against the last boss, so I'll have to choose my targets with care. I guess we can fire... Burp. Up there, that'll do five. What else can I hit? I could fire up this way, that'll hit five. I can fire down this way, that'll hit five. <laughs> Is there any way I can hit the missile room and still hit a decent number of other rooms? I can shoot through here, and that'll hit five. That's pretty good. Let's do that. We want to knock out the missiles as much as possible, and the halberd beam can handle the cloak. I actually missed that room. That's no good, guys. If I had, if the beam is visible, if the beam, if the beam is visibly in a room, please try and actually hit that room. I only aimed there, so I can actually hit the missiles. All right. Well, he's shooting random rooms. That's cool. We've knocked out their cloak completely, and they're gonna go down in a second anyway, so it's all good. Boop. Down you go! Nice try, Rebels. Okay, that was... that could have been really bad. Just as we gain the upper hand, they find a way to make an FTL jump. In its new state, they'll have to get closer to the base to be a threat. So we gather two missiles, a drone part and 18, scrap from the wreckage, and move on. Power up our med bay to level 2. Okay, power off our defense drone. Okay, I'm gonna chase this guy down. No leeway for him now. Let's jump over there and punch him in his rebel face. Here we are. We chase down the flagship and discover it's still heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate it has redirected considerable power to its drones, so we get ready to fight. Here's all its drones, here's all my drones. I can play that game too, you know. As we get ready to ion blast these guys, this level should, be, should not be quite as dangerous. The drones will give us a beaten, but the fact is, we can actually... Ion beam him down without any problems this time. We just missed that drone, though, I think. Yes, we did. So we're going to cloak out and hope for the best, honestly. Um, it's not going to work out in our favor, but we're going to do it anyway. Zoop! This should give our drone a chance to shoot him again. Unless he's an idiot drone. Shoot the... Shoot the... Shoot him! Why aren't you shooting him? He's just floating there. Okay, that's stupid. The game wanted us to fail there. Otherwise, it would've... did we just did we just shoot our defense drone down? Yes, it did. Power up a new defense drone. Ugh. Well, now we get to tank out the full weight of their uh, power surge unguarded. That's not good. But if we're really, really lucky, we'll get murdered horribly. Holy beam drones, Batman! That entire power surge is beam drones. I have never seen that before. Wow. Um. Oh. 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 Uh oh. We're in. We're in. Oh, no, 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 no. We're in line for some big trouble now. They can't hurt us with these drones, that's fine. But the fact is, those rockets hit us in the weapons, and if we can't knock their shields out completely, then they're going to recover fully. There we go, good. Okay, we're good. Now we can murder them. Let's pike beam up here, that'll hit one, two, three, four, five, six rooms. That's much better than what I saw before, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I just turned it off. Pike beam, make sure we hit the drone bay. Pike beam up these six rooms. There we go. Halberd beam over here as well. In fact, we're going to make sure we hit the drone bay as hard as we can hit it. So, we're going to hit up this way for another pile of damage. And turn off those drones, please. Bzzzt. There we go. Take that, drones. Now, repair those damages, gents, and get back to murdering. If we can get all of their crew in here repairing damages, that'd be great. But it looks like they're going to be spread out because of the... Random acts of drone violence. But I'm okay with that. 
down they go. That was one of the fastest defeats of the Rebel flagship I have ever seen. Just as we gain the upper hand, they jump away again, giving us very minimal resources, and we will have to keep hunting them. Well, I'm okay with that, honestly. That worked out for the best. You're gonna get in there and heal. You're gonna get in there and heal too. I'm gonna power up my oxygen level level 2, and that should power the oxygen in this room, despite the fact that there is a hole in it. Or so I've been told. We'll heal up Charlie. If this does actually replenish the oxygen in there, it does seem to be holding steady. If we vent the oxygen in, it should stay steady? Yes, it does. Fantastic. Oh no, not like that. We have to leave the doors open. Leave, leave the doors open. We'll keep the oxygen steady in the room, despite the fact there's a hole in the hole. So, Charlie can fight them at his leisure. Gradually take the drone down. I'll send Cubbin in as well, so I can leave him in there once he starts doing the repairs. Pew pew! Down goes that droid. I don't know why this thing didn't shoot that droid out of the air, though, after it missed its first shot. I mean, it had like what, 10 seconds of free shooting there, and just didn't bother to take another shot at it. I don't know what that was all about. Get back to your helm, though. Everyone else should be good to go. We'll send Monet back to the engines, and Picasso back to weapons. Alright, guys. This is what it comes down to. This is our final fight against the ship that caused all of our problems. We can chase them straight here, we can come up here, then chase them straight there. But we're just gonna chase them straight there. <sighs> is there anything else we can upgrade? Nope. Nothing else we can do here, we just need to go and punch them in their rebel faces. So let's do it. Here we go, Rebels. Bring it on. Bring it on. We're not certain how they're able to keep fighting with the amount of damage they've sustained, but they've transported power to the teleporter as well as some kind of super weapon. We'll have to be prepared, because this is it. They're going to send five crew on board of us. That's one problem I forgot to consider. Power up the drones. Thankfully, they can't do it until they get through this overshield, so that is a small advantage in our favor. Why don't I have the power for this? Oh yeah, oxygen has two power bars for some reason. Not anymore, it doesn't. Hit them in the Zoltan shield as hard as you can, gents. We need that thing offline. Pronto. No, that doesn't involve missing the Zoltan shield. Hit them in the Zoltan shield. Thank you. Hit some missiles, block some missiles, dodge some missiles. No dodging happened there, but that's okay. We are going to dodge the power surge, because it does hurt, even though we do have some hefty shield defenses. Now they're trying to board us, but we're going to dodge this salvo. Zoom! And we dodge some missiles, too. That's always fun. Their, sh their Zoltan lower shield is gone. Now we have to do damage to the real shield with our ion blasts. Keep hitting them there, guys. Keep hitting them. The faster you hit them, the better. And the faster we hit them, the faster we can start murdering them. Although, now you're missing, and that's not ideal. Hit hit them with the with the thingies. Okay, this is gonna hurt. And they hit us in the weapons! Of course they did! The one place they really can't hit us at this point, otherwise we're badly damaged, they hit us there. Okay, you even put that out by yourself. NG, get in there and help him put that fire out. Otherwise, we are in heaps and heaps of trouble. Okay, we have one shot of this, otherwise they are going to recover fully. We're going to knock out their helm and their shields and get it coming both directions. Go. Okay, we did some damage. Good enough. Good enough. And we're cloaking. We want those to miss us. That looks like it was going to hit us directly in the weapons, which would have been fatal for Picasso from the looks of things. We're going to hide here a little bit longer. He's going to heal up, and then he'll come back in, and we should be good to go. We just barely dodged that. Picasso, back into your station. Coven, back into your station. Ion Blast online, please. Thank you. Start shooting that shield. Oh, I forgot to turn off my beams. Whoops. It did damage, but not exactly what I had intended to be doing in the first place. One more salvo should kill them, though, and their weapons are getting increasingly less efficient. Two hits on us, but that's okay. One more fire, and the shields are offline, and now we can kill them. Goodbye, gentlemen. This is your death speaking. It's been fun, but you're going down. And there goes the Rebel flagship. Nice try. Our ship's on fire, but that's okay, we don't even care. Thanks to the valiant effort of the VSS Artistry and her successful crew, Dolly, Picasso, Monet, and Charlie, Johnson, and Coven, the Rebels' flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring a Federation victory yet again. Magnificent. Well, let's take a look at how we did overall. Victory! Congratulations! We've defeated the Rebel flagship and ensured the victory of the Federation over the Rebels! 4,235 score, which is surprisingly low given the amount of money we made.
because we had lots of money there. Let's take a look at our scoreboard. There is... There be. There we go. It's our highest scoring one here by a large... Oh, actually, did I use that name already? I don't think so. The Pantheon was my earlier attempt. I had a bunch of uh, uh, various religious gods in our ship because they all generated free power, but I like the artistry as well. We also got the achievement here for giving her all she's got. We didn't actually make any of these achievements, surprisingly enough. We only gathered... Wow, it's a paltry amount of scrap, and not that many ships defeated, or any of this stuff, really. Huh. I guess that makes sense why we had such a low score, but it felt like a really powerful ship. Funny how that works, and we didn't even have as much points as our best normal Zoltan cruiser. Huh. Nowhere close to this board, either. Crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, we got this achievement, too, eh? Slice and dice. We're hitting every room of a ship with at least one beam in under five seconds. That's kind of cool, too. I haven't done either of those yet. Or this one. Or this one. I might have to try those later on. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor with another episode of FTL. If you've enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.